I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. My name is Kate, Kate Walker. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this factory. I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. There is a, an heir, Miss Walker. Where can I reach him? Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XC2000. My common name is Oster. You said you were a train engineer? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted update. I wanted results. Kate, please! Olivia, tell me what's going on. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. I promise, Hans Thorberg. What news have you got? Kate Walker's gone, far away, into another world. It was really a beautiful voyage. Now, it is time to say goodbye. Oscar! I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Three months ago, nomads found her dying in northern Siberia. Born in New York in the United States. Walker. Kate Walker. She's very quickly going to become a problem. Kate Walker will always represent a problem for us, and also for our cause. How did I end up here? We Yukos migrate with our snow ostriches to the sacred lands. Miss Walker. The Justice Department is looking for you, you know. I'm not going back to New York with you. Don't go! It's a long journey, a very special journey.
I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Big day today. Hey, Dana? Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Herr Baumgartner's bakery. I usually love the place. Everybody does at the academy. But today I'm not too nervous to eat a strudel. Hurry along to the square. You don't want to be late. Not today of all days. Looks like everyone left in a hurry. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. Hmm, not bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop though. Goodness, a rock? Oh no, vandals. Are you all right? None for the worse for wear. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. At least, it's prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. I see who you mean. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. Especially when it's based on hate and the rejection of other cultures. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. My parents and I are Vagarans. Well, in that case, I wish you well. Troubled times are these, young lady. For people like us. Ah, enough talk of nastiness. Ah. I see you're carrying a music case. Would you be the lucky young lady who is to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Well, let me congratulate you first. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. So, thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll... I'll add the date like they do in Hollywood. It's all the rage these days, you know. Well, I... Unless you're worried, it would make you late. All right. I will. Here you go. Ah, lovely. The great white swan of Wagen. The immortal symbol of our beautiful town. A very fine inscription indeed. And one that will no doubt be here for many years to come, whatever may become of us now. Thank you, mein Herr. I really should go now if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. I'll be listening from here. Thank you. Goodbye. Same thing happened last month to the shop of Papa's friend, Herr Zimmer. What's the point of damaging books? It's disgraceful. The ghetto. 
Mama and Papa often talk about it when they think I'm not listening. They say that more and more Vagarians are being forced to live here. Anyway, I'd better not hang around or I'll end up being late at the square. Is it that late already? Paul Beckman will kill me if I don't get to the square on time. Damn bloody Vagaran. The National Socialist Party of Osterthal. I think that's what Papa calls the Brown Shadow. Nothing but yobs in uniform, according to him. I'd better not hang around here. Grief. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, oh, Frau Line Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. May I have your convocation notice? Thank you, Frau Line Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual Spring Concert is a great honour and rewards the best Music Academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. The piano is ready. Make this day yours, Dana Rose. Activate the piano first. There's a mechanism on the side of it. Everything's ready. All I need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin.
God, another day of hard labor. What are you gonna do now, Kate? Jeez, can't believe it's been almost a year since the militia sent me here. Gotta get out, move on, whatever that might be. But how, though? No news from outside, nothing. Does anyone even know I'm here? For Christ's sake, someone must be looking for me, mustn't they? Mustn't they? Cell section, three, cell number, 31. Occupants, Katie Usha Spiridonova, Kate Walker. Section manager, Simona Kalinina. Code of conduct. One, the color assigned to your team must be visible on you at all times, both outside and inside your cell. Any non-compliance will be punished. Two, the salt extraction quota must be filled every day. Any non-compliance will be punished. 3. The extraction of ivory and or patriotic relics must be reported to a side staff member immediately. Any non-compliance will be punished. 4. You must respect and obey your section manager, but also the entire site staff. Any non-compliance will be punished. 5. Meals and rest are privileges, not entitlements. Any abuse thereof will be considered as non-compliance. Any non-compliance will be punished. 6. Each cell is granted a privilege of 5 liters of water a day. Any abuse thereof will be considered as non-compliance. Any non-compliance will be punished. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. Pushkin's poem. In the depths of the Siberian mines, keep your proud patience. In the depth of the Siberian mines, your sorrowful labor and great ambitions of your thoughts will not be wasted. Hope, the faithful sister of misery, will wake up your courage and amusement. In the dark underground, the desired time will come, love and friendship will come to you, through the somber gates, as my free voice reaches you in your miserable holes. Heavy locks will fall down, prisons will crash, and freedom will greet you gladly at the door, and brothers will give you the sword. Alexander Pushkin Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. You okay? Sure. Digging an assault mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. Five minutes, no more. Da? Da.
Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. There's all Oscar's data inside. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baraner and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is if I ever get out of here. Don't forget your gear. We'll need it in Gallery C. It's for you, Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... You got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else a less friendly face will come to get you. Whoever sent you that parcel must have gone to a lot of trouble getting it to you. I got a bad feeling, kid. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia. 212-359-1519. Seeking Kate Walker, Mitt Canton's report. Dear Mrs. Foster, we have not had the pleasure of meeting. My name is Nick Canton, a private detective. 
A few years back, I was asked by the law firm Morrison and Lormont to find Miss Kate Walker and bring her back to the United States. As you well know, she is wanted by the police for alleged misappropriation of funds. The pursuit of your friend has been hectic to say the least. Indeed, I fear it has affected my mental health. I ended up being the victim of a serious accident and now find myself in the Valsumber Clinic where I am convalescing. This is where the parcel you sent to Kate Walker landed up. Your address was written on the back of the envelope. I am given to believe that Miss Walker was among your closest friends, which is why I am writing to you. I should explain that I am no longer mandated by anyone to find the young lady. However, I must admit I am still keen to carry on with my mission, my sole objective being to try to warn Miss Walker about all the trouble she keeps getting herself into and, if possible, to persuade her to come home. Nevertheless, I must admit that as I write this letter, I have no idea of her whereabouts, especially since my long convalescence has meant that I have lost track of recent events. I'd like to pick up my investigation as soon as possible to find your friend and hand her your letter. Yours sincerely, Nick Canton. December, 23rd. 2004. Dear Mrs. Foster, I hope this letter finds you well. I am pleased to inform you that I have managed to locate the Yukal Nomads. They were escorting Miss Walker the last time I met her. They told me that, despite the sacrifice of Oscar, the automaton, to protect her, she was taken prisoner by a dangerous local fascist militia. After almost a year of laborious investigation, this trail has allowed me to localize Miss Walker with near certitude. She's detained in a salt mine. This mine is in reality a labor camp owned by a consortium of mobsters and neo-Nazis in search of vestiges of past grandeur of their nation. I have just arrived in the region. As I expected, the mine guards refused to hand Miss Walker over to me. They even pushed back my attempts to bribe them, a bit on the light side, though, I must admit, due to my deplorable finances. The guards nonetheless assured me that she was well. For some reason they burst out laughing on mentioning her close relationship with her cellmate and the way in which the two young women protect each other. In return for the small amount of cash I could muster up, the guards promised me they would give the parcel to Miss Walker. In the meantime, until I find a way of getting her out of this hornet's nest, I have no other choice but to believe them.